if right? you have a passed away relative, yeah. that person still exists in form of electricity in your brain because Fair. when you think about them, they're still kind of there. I one hundred percent. I'm. I completely agree with you. I always say that the people we've lost, right? Like, if anything, our thoughts, our dreams about them. It's, it's the time to. It's like almost bridging the gap, being able to see them and right. How do you know that that interaction is any less real? Well, what do they say? You're never really dead until the last person on the earth says your name. Yeah, I think that's from a. I love that Disney movie too. Which Disney movie? That's the the guy with the guitar, the little Coco Encanto. I mean, no, no, it, Coco. It's Coco. It's that Coco. Was, I I don't think I've ever even seen Coco, but it's good. I did. Uh, I know that that's <laughs> yeah, a, like a famous quote from before Coco. <laughs> yeah. So so so. Yeah. Disney didn't just make up everything. Welcome, all of you, to uh, Casa the Thinking. You oh. know, and this um, leads right into what we're going to talk about. And we're going to ask, right? Absolutely. Yeah. These believers and non-believers. Yeah. What is God? Oh man! Right? And here we have Andy. We have Mir. We have Harrison, and you have me, Arturo. Um. So, uh, you know, let's start with the guest of our podcast today, right? Let's start with Amir. What is God to you? And like a short, brief thing, and then we'll go into it. Like, you know, and you can talk about anything, you know, of a gender, a thing. Is it a matter? Is it whatever? They mean good, you know, like uh, what's their mission? Uh, creator, not creator. Just a, a brief summary, and then we'll we'll just still, you know, pull it apart. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I've actually been thinking about it recently, and I think... <sighs> I think I need to do more shrooms <laughs> so no, to to understand. And I I think a lot of a lot of religions had to do with psychedelics, and we don't they do. really they do they do yeah, they we're just unlocking yeah. other parts of our brain yeah the part I, that understands God yeah or or has some sort of like experience. And I think a lot of prophets in history had this like amazing like uh, euphoric experience, and then what happened is that they tried to translate that into words and give that to other people where they also felt that experience without having to, you know, consume whatever they consumed. Oh, okay. So, you know, I think you could get an idea of what God is to you if you do more psychedelics, I, which I, I think I, I... I think that would be a good attempt to get closer to God, I think. So if I'm taking what you, what you just said and, like, just kind of boiling it down, God equals drugs god god is something within us okay yeah, i think is god is something within us and i think drugs or altered state of consciousness could help you maybe bring that closer to a vision i hear that maybe okay. i don't know it could give you a chance to do that yeah so is god within everybody yeah i think every 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 man has the ability to become their own god. That's right, ladies. Every man. Yeah. Every whatever you know what I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Every human being. <laughs> Every human being. Nice. I would like to add on to that as well okay, uh, with psychedelics because old tribes used to do that, like native tribes and the ooga boogas, as I say. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know why that awkward <laughs> pause is there, but I like it. <laughs> The natives. Of Wait, for a second, I thought. I for a second I thought the ooga is an actual world. thing. I'm like, no, what? No, 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 no. It's it's very very primitive He's cultures. Like, Trip mushrooms and and ayahuasca and all that. And it's He's, and it's good to a part. And some some rabbis do do that. They 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 trip acid or, or something. It's yeah. It's not. It, dr drugs are less uh, sinful or less um, perceived as wrong. Which is strange because like you can't like touch a woman until you're married, but you can fucking drop acid and and do all this other stuff. I don't know if Coke's in there at all, but you can drink, you can party, mm. but like you can't have pork, which is fucking weird. Interesting, you know. Uh, the the Talmud, a lot of Judaism is is discourse because that's what the Talmud is. The Old Testament, the Torah itself, it, it are rules and commandments and stories and covenants. Yeah. It's just a bunch, a mix of all that Old stuff. Old Testament God. Yeah, yeah OG shit. And then like rabbis are like, oh, well, we can do this. What? How do we do this? How do we get around, you know, not doing Shabbat? Well, we have someone there to do it for us and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, God is within all of us. But God, your God, what you say, like also creates loopholes for people. And I don't know if loopholes are so fucking good all the time. 
I don't think I think it hurts you rather than benefits you. So, but what is God to you, to Harris? Uh, my, this is weird. My God, there's a, there's an everything everything song called uh, "Only as Good as My God," and I think my God isn't like oppressive, if that means sense. My God doesn't hate you. Like, uh, what was it? I was this Walking Dead quote was really good. I don't know why I've been binge watching that recently. And he says, uh, "My, uh, what is it? My mercy prevails over my wrath." And I think my God's mercy prevails over my wrath. Okay. So, yeah. That's interesting. Does that answer the question? Wrathful God. You know? Yeah, my God is not a wrathful God. It's a merciful cool. God. And the Jewish God is a wrathful God. Uh, well, the way he imagines him. Is my, my, yeah, somewhere. my version of a Jewish okay. God. You're my ver- my version of... Exactly. My God, he He's... may be my, uh, a movie star, <laughs> but... Anybody watch this direct? No? Yes, I've Gosh. seen it, and I know what you're talking about. But this is God to yeah to, to, to Harrison. Harrison. Yeah, this is Hashem to me. I like it. Hashem is that, is that that's, God? that's that translates to the name. Okay, which means okay. God, because like you can't really so say who is God to you, Arturo. Well, you haven't gone yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I much like Amir believe that God is in all of us in the way that we, you know, convene with God or you know, like basically like prayer and, and, and having some connection with God is through nature. You know what I mean? I truly believe that, um, our lack of connection with nature is us straying away from God. You know, it's not morality. It's not all this stuff that God told you what to do. It's just us not being in touch with our most primitive and based Selves. Are they distractions? What's that? Because you know, uh, this is. Uh, I, I want to make this very clear in the podcast. I forgive Kanye West. <laughs> I forgive Kanye. I'm West. glad we got that. Up. No, no, no. Because <laughs> yeah, because he. Where I, you go I, from what I, I want to go. I want to go with what God it connects to God. Because okay. he he did that like Jesus is King or whatever album. Okay. And uh, someone like remixed uh, his uh, Follow God song, and uh-huh. it was it, it, it. I don't. I think he wants he he wants people because he talks about chasing numbers. He talks about like on the record. He talks about chasing statues and things like that, mm-hmm. false idols. And I think those are distractions, which you are mentioning. Yeah, yeah. Well, because we all face them. I agree. But Buddhists, I, Jews, all of them. I think what I'm getting at, kind of, is that we are all a part of each other and yeah. of nature and of everything else and God included. God is in us because we are God, basically. We created uh, him and we are him. It's all just one big wow. circle jerk. We are him is that's terrifying to me. I if well, I if I think just, all of like we if you think about it, it's like who created God? Who gave us the idea of God? And how is it that we have so many different cultures that have so many different pieces that are so similar in so many the, different ways then why do we pray to shouldn't we pray to the creator of the god rather than like we are the creator of the god <laughs> but like would you have to like and we honor ourselves every day if you, like if you, you know what i'm not honest. gonna do like i i can't pray to the admissions advisor for the unc graduate school i mean you could i don't think if they're, they're trying to let you in Who's more likely to Probably let them. you in? The, <laughs> Probably if you pray to the admissions advisor or God. Like, if you were to pray to anybody. Probably the admissions what, advisor, what but they don't know my advisor. name. I think you just stumbled onto a hack. I <laughs> should. Yeah, I, I have to contact them and be like, hey, please let me in. You may, imagine how many phone calls they get. That's, hey, please let me in. Please, no, no, please. no, no. It's the thing. You need to come at it different, though. You need to be like, look, I heard that... You're so smart that you invented God. And <laughs> so if you did that, then you're kind of like a proxy here on earth. And I baked you this cake here. It's like an offering to my God. Please let me in your school. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> prayer and God is diff- they're two different things. They are. Okay. I don't I don't think like necessarily like praying to God. I think that's just like somehow we link that together. But mm-hmm. prayer does feel good because I feel like it's a form of meditation. 100%. And meditation feels fucking great. Absolutely. It grounds you. It allows you like the the whole um, mindfulness aspect of it. Um, but like God itself, I think it's just the best version of yourself. Like if you can yeah. be like kind, uh, you know, intelligent, informed, 
and helpful to the people around you, like you're getting closer to God. Mm -hmm. Well, and that kind of, you know, I know we were talking or you guys were talking about earlier on your podcast, Juanan, (laughs) about, um, you know, nepotism and that sort of thing. And it's interesting to me because nepotism and helping each other, helping the people that we know based on our own success, wanting to lift up the people around us, you know, you make changes based on those small choices in your own community. So I guess I'm not super anti any of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like my capability to make my community better as far as money and, um, you know, gentrification and all of that kind of stuff. That is good for me. That's good for the people around me. So whether it's a selfish act because I did something for a friend or not, you know what I mean? Like, you did something good and you did something good that's going to create more good for somebody else. I want to talk to you about that. I've been thinking about this on the way over here. Actually, I want to get into volunteering again. I want to uh, be in the uh, big brother, little brother program. I think I'd be great for that. Like you'd be the little brother in this case. No, no, (laughs) (laughs) no, that's great, man. No, I think I think I can be a big brother to an extent. You can be that child's god. You know what? I think, yeah, I think the opposite. <laughs> really? I'm like, there's no way I can, you know, volunteer. I'm not a role model, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. And I disagree. Ruby, thank you. I appreciate it. But you, you don't. You think, it, okay. you think I need it? You think I need it? You think I need a little? I need a big brother. Is that what you're saying? Okay. I think Arturo I should be your big brother. <laughs> what? I think Arturo should be your big. Oh, I'm yeah. good. Are we. <laughs> We're very, we live very similar lives. Only you just have more bunnies and more equipment. <laughs> more yeah. bunnies. And, uh, yeah. I'm the human uh, of the rabbit world. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. You're like a, a advanced studio, and I have like a one Zoom mixer. So. You know, everyone needs a big brother. Everyone yeah. needs a mentor. Well, that's what God <laughs> is to only children. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your mentor, Amir? My well, I mean, I've I've had several mentors. I, Big brother. Style. Who was your Ustad? My who? Ustad. Ustad. I think my uncles, kind of. But, <laughs> but no. Like I think um, that's like a like God is you, and I think a prophet could be a mentor. You know, mm-hmm. a prophet okay. could be like someone who shows you the ways and gives you shortcuts in life. That could be a prophet. Mm-hmm. And prayer is meditation. I think like it's like the, the modern form of what religion was. I think you can have your own way of that's more realistic and more helpful. Yeah. More helpful to the people around you, more helpful to yourself, you know, yeah. rather than just cowering in fear about some bearded man in the sky that's here to shame me. Yeah. yeah. How do you know he's bearded? How do you know he's a man? Because of the Simpsons. <laughs> Every time they depicted yeah. God, yeah, yeah, it was, it was and as I recall, the the God he was the only one who has five fingers. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? I didn't notice that. <laughs> Man, you pay attention to detail. You uh, just blew my motherfucking <laughs> you know, right? mind, dude. Did you know this, Arturo? I did not. Who is God according to the Simpsons? So that's what we should do. Who is God according to different TV shows? Because <laughs> that's how I learned. Yeah, what God yeah. why is. isn't God a council? I'm American. <laughs> What? Why isn't God like a council of people? Because you always hear like, oh, God's a woman and all that other like. Because it's a kingdom yes. of God. It's a kingdom. one king. King. Mm. Kingdom okay. of heaven. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's a man or a woman, but I just don't think. I think he's maybe an he's entity. trans. I think he's yeah. For the, yeah, he could be. Yeah. Yeah. He, Who is God? They to could you be transgender. Though, since I asked and you just. <laughs> yeah, and I just batted it away. Okay, well, I, I um. I have a slightly different view of what God is. I mean, I was raised Catholic. Yeah. For uh, for many years, I would have, you know, like, and I say, at least for me, foolishly said that I was like, you know, an atheist and whatnot, right? Whereas I sometimes think even the belief and non-belief in a way is a religion. You know, like, uh, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, you know, I'm a trained scientist, mm-hmm. but... I think people make the miscalculation and thinking that there is truth in science. The science is not in the game of truth. Science is in the game of accuracy, right? Like science can tell you like, you know, okay, through through experiment and uh, inductive and deductive reasoning, are we closer or farther from a measure, right? That's where we break things into like the color spectrum is just different wavelengths of light. Mm-hmm. But we make a, we make a choice on what's green, what's blue, even though our choices might be different from somebody like, you know, some uncontacted tribes that have a bunch of color number uh, names for green. Right. So my thought of what God is, is that I would say I do believe in God, but my uh, is 
what I would say God is not even a corporeal. It's not even a, an entity. It might even not even have a consciousness. It is the reason why our, let's say, an example would be our atoms interact, right? Why do, do the laws of physics have a certain polarity, you know, like, you know, or, or a certain weight to the electron, weight to the neutron that makes things reactive and not just a cloud of ions, you know, like of just atoms, right? The reason for those items interacting together, right? Almost like a mechanism mm -hmm. that then allows everything else to unfold, right? But that mechanism, that there could, I could say, I can like, I would say, that the reason for the stars, the reason for everything, in a way, that's what a lot of like people describe like God made all these things. So, in a sense, it would conform, let's say, with almost like a Catholic way, at least in that the early testament of like God. If you think of the mechanism that, that you know, if atoms react, right, that the stars, you know, like ions can, can join, stars can create, suns can be born, right? You create the sky, oh. right? If all of a sudden you can have higher, uh, you know, molecules forming, right? Now you can form water, right? You you go a high level of complexity on molecules of water. Now you get organic molecules, right? Yeah. Now you get uh, cells, you know, or mRNA cells, uh, you know, and then you get single cellular organisms, multicellular organisms, right? And so that spark, and, and, and you, you even hear it named that spark, that is what I would call God. And in a way, that mechanism is within all of us as well, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and I, I could separate that maybe even, you know, I would even separate that there can be, uh, that's God, and there can be creators of things that are beneath that, right? Like we create a robot, we create AI, as far as they're concerned, we're their creator, but we don't necessarily need to be a god of the universe, right, for them. So, yeah, that's kind of like my idea on God. Wow. So it's more like in the physical realm than uh, in the conscious realm. Well, I, I wouldn't even. Well, what what is what is physical, right? Because the reason, like dreams, right, and experiences, like we can experience because of our brain, right, and like there could be, um, like. I'll give you an example. I'll give you. I'll give you an example of this. I, I I try to see life in the sense that, let's say, death. You know, like you know, my father passed away or whatever. I, if if you look at it from the perspective that death is kind of like a film. I mean, life is kind of like a film. You watch a film, but that that DVD, that Blu-ray, and everything has the entire movie in it at all time. It's just you playing it that allows you to view it sequentially. So as also us three dimensional beings in a four dimensional world experiencing time, we are right now at our ages, right? But in reality, we've existed. We still exist in reality as we are for and in the future as well. And the people that have, we've lost in our lives are if kind of like the Blu-ray. They exist. They are in the same plane. We're just not experiencing that at that time. Um, so. It's um, it's it's a little bit like you know it it is the um, it is not so much physical because it is before right like before time before everything and then yeah I could I, I don't have all so the well, answers right so uh, right you're you're there yeah but you're, you're just, it's maybe that's what ghosts are you know maybe it's you're the saying it, sorry you're saying that it changes the form of which they exist. Right. Uh, well, th there is not a, there is no they. It just is. It it it, it like is all exist. right. The, the even even the interactions of your body, the chemical reactions, are because these mechanisms or our reality is built upon them, and that mechanism, whatever spurs those that or dreams or thoughts, that is you know our electrical signals in our brain. The origin, the source, basically of all. I have a, I have a so question I, to add on to this, real quick. Is I'm trying to understand no, no, no. what what you're no, saying. No, go, yeah, ahead, go ahead. Is God good? 
Because like God creates all the stuff that you're saying. It's metaphysical. Well, what is good? <laughs> what we're talking about right here. Good, bad. But well, from what you're saying, you're, God has no like it's not a stake in good thing. or bad. Yeah. There is yeah. no... Well, this, that that question is irrelevant to his definition. Right, of God. right, right. There is no stake person really a match, right? Because um, if it's all his creation, yeah, or all its creation. So you're you're defining God as the foundation of the physical realm, like the atoms, the electrons, the the how and each. the metaphysical one. How do you how do you separate your thoughts? Well, not, nothing is metaphysical. What's metaphysical? Dreams. Yeah. It's not. It's in. It's your brain. It's the electricity in your brain. It's all okay, neurological. Well, well, some people would say it's metaphysical. That's what I'm saying. In this, in 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 your definition your is fully physical. It is physical. Yes, but some people would think of dreams as metaphysical, right? Maybe Forget about love. some people. I'm talking about your then, definition. Yeah, then yes, in a sense, the source, the reason for things. So okay, so yeah, it's fully physical. It's the reason for physical existence. The reason for existence. I don't know what it, what what would be outside of physical. Well, you tell me. Scenario. You're defining God in the way I heard you define God. Yeah. How can you define like non physical? Because you right, haven't right, really right. defined. Exactly. That's, what I said, that's why I said ghosts. Maybe that's what ghosts. Because <laughs> like they're even, on yeah. a different plane, but they still exist. Yeah. But the DVD's not playing. Like they're there, but they're not. Even let's say you right? you have a passed away relative, yeah. that person still exists in the form of electricity in your brain because there. when you think about them, they're still kind of there. I one hundred percent, I'm I completely agree with you. I always say that the people we've lost, right? Like if anything, our thoughts, our dreams about this, it's a time to. It's like almost bridging the gap, being able to see them interact. How do you know that that interaction is any less real? Well, what do they say? You're never really dead until the last person on the earth. Says your name. Yeah, I think that's from a. I love that Disney movie too. Which Disney movie? That's the the guy with the guitar, the little Coco Encanto. I mean, no, no, it, Coco. It's Coco. That it's Coco. Was, I I don't think I've ever even seen Coco, but it's good. I did. Uh, I know that that's <laughs> yeah, a, like a famous quote from before Coco. <laughs> yeah. So so so. Yeah. Disney didn't just make up everything. But yeah. So so it is. So I agree with you, love. And so, but to answer these questions, yes, like the source, the the reason why are. If the charges were a little bit different on the atoms, they wouldn't react. Our universe wouldn't exist as it is. You know, mm-hmm. gravity would not be what it is. You know, if the strong or weak force were in the atom were a little bit different, you know, uh, they would the atom would not exist, right? So, so my my question is, does that? Um, I guess sorry if I'm just no, 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 you no, no. Um, but does that definition of God help you in any way in life, or mm-hmm. would it be more helpful for you to have? some sort of, I guess, you know, mental, I guess a different mental definition of what God is that can be more contributing, more beneficial to you to guide you in life? I don't know, because that's where I separate, I would say I would separate a God and philosophy, right? Like, you know, like uh, in the sense, let's say many people believe in God, right? Believe maybe in a heaven, right? They're going to see their loved ones have passed away in this heaven, right? And... My perception in, 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 in the way that I define God, that is happening in a way, but we're thinking of it as live beings, what it means like to be with our loved ones, right? But what is it about our consciousness that is real outside of our body, right? Or our energy, right? The conservation of energy. And it's like, maybe it's just energy, like kind of like, let's think of it like a, a cube of ice, and a gas and, and a balloon filled with with uh, with water gas with steam, right? Both of those two separate things, right? Let's say those are two people. Let's say at the moment of death, they you 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 uh, evaporate one and get into you melt one and turn into water, and you condense one and they turn into water, and then you put that water in the same puddle, right? Now the two beings that were alive before are together, but they're water. They're not gonna remember cube yes. and steam. They're together. So in a sense, yes, we are going back to the source in, in my definition of this God. And in that way, people, you are going with the, let's say, called, quote unquote, energy of your loved ones. But it's not in this personal way that we think, oh, we're going to go through these gates and we're going to go hang out with all our people. We will be with them. But the things that we see us, us doing as live beings, I think what what our energy or whatever we are, whatever our consciousness, 
after we pass away is so wildly different that it's more akin to that kind of like steam ice turning into water and you are together. And then maybe that energy gets reused somewhere down the line, but it doesn't, you know. Do you believe that the, the God also has an afterlife for us as well? That's the big thing. Well, in my scenario, God doesn't want anything, right? Like in, in that sense, right? Uh, and um, in an afterlife in this sense, right? Afterlife only exists if you think of your life as finite through time. Mm-hmm. Right? Like if you think that your life begins at birth and ends at death. But if your energy, let's say kind of like that water, right, is steam, ice, whatever throughout. And there is a period of time that you're alive, that you're yeah. one of those states. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that in the other states you're not alive. You may not be Harrison Friedman anymore, but what are so you? So you're reincarnated, essentially. Well, you're, I think in, in your philosophy, you're just more distributed because now our Toro yeah. is this ball of energy as a human. And then when he dies, he lives through memory. He lives through the soil. He lives through yeah. Yeah. other things as opposed to just one concentrated ball of energy. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because yeah, in, in a way, right? And that, you know, that maybe leads some credence to that we are all the same, right? We are all like, if you think about it, we're all... Atoms, atoms are created in stars, right? Yeah. We're all space does, right? The maybe the universe, and that's why I say it's just going through these cycles of like, okay, uh, uh, single a single cell life, multicellular life, right? And eventually, it's trying to understand each itself a little bit more. And now we're conscious, right? But we are really from the atoms and stars. So really, what are we? What is this consciousness thing? And as we dissipate into the afterlife. Are we a separate thing or is it just, are we just a separate thing because we put boxes around in these meat suits and then maybe we're just really part of the universe? Dude, this is getting super philosophical. I don't know if I can handle this. That, I mean, that's very much, I, I'm <laughs> of a similar mind because the thing of it is, is that, you know, after my sister passed, especially I was thinking about these kinds of things. Like, where did she go? She existed and now she doesn't. But How high do y'all get for this? I'm not high we haven't smoked either. all night. Yeah, I'm not high either. Exactly. I feel like the, my third eye is being pried open. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to be all right. Pry it I'm going to be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think grab that pillow. You need, need to take a nap, bro. Uh, I need, no, I need <laughs> some. Uh, all right. Can, sorry no, for cutting you off. Like, Please repeat uh, it. That, that's the thing. And, but to me, that's very comforting to think that, yeah. you know, she's passed away, but her energy, whatever happened yeah. to it, maybe her consciousness is attached to it. Maybe it's not. Maybe I don't fucking know, but. She still exists. Yeah. And what I've found is that it makes me kinder to other people Ooh, okay. to consider that the people that I love, mm-hmm. whether that it's specifically them, it's still a part of them. You know what I mean? I, I, I agree. World. I agree with that. It's true. But <laughs> the, the thing of it is, is like all that good stuff that's within people, it doesn't go away. Yeah. I, uh, I think people use people's deaths as like um, also things to do destructive uh, actions. Sure. So like if I well, let's say my uh, my uncle died, like oh Uncle Frank, uh, what it would want me to put four hundred on the Cavaliers tonight? I you know, <laughs> something like that. Like I could use a really I could I could use gambling as a coping mechanism and use sure. my dead uncle's name. Yeah. I don't have an uncle named Frank, but you, you get my drift, right? Do you think that people use God as those kinds of uh-huh, things? Uh-huh, they too? do a lot. And we see that in the media. We don't see God used in the good context. You think not? Oh, definitely not. Well, I mean, Which is I sad. See, it's it, People in America, I think, they, they do that. They're like, they'll give God the excuse for their yeah. actions. They're like, they God do. wanted me to. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's a very Judeo-Christian you, attitude, yeah. yeah. What the, what do you mean God? Like what do you, you did whatever you did? What do you yeah. mean God wanted you? you <laughs> like, God yeah, gave you know, us free will, man. S- unless you're like schizophrenic and you like hearing shit, then yeah, that's a different story. Well, just because you're schizophrenic and you're hearing shit doesn't mean you have to listen to the we, voices. We, we <laughs> rationalize a lot of evil horrors uh, from faith. Like the Crusades are a great example of that. A lot uh, of people what? The Crusades are a great example of that. We okay. rationalize um, a lot of uh, evil oh. or not even evil. We rationalize yeah. a lot of behavior. Yeah, I I can't I can't relate to that. I can't. It's hard for me. I try I to think about that. Like if I do something bad, I'm I like I can't I can't find anyone else but myself responsible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's God's what me, that's what being a man is? Okay, huh? That's what you're facing. Do you think like 
I know this kind of leans more into morality, but is God mad at you? Do you feel those kinds of things like when you, I, I, I mean, like in a, on a day to day basis, if you did something shitty that didn't necessarily specifically physically harm another person, but like, you, I don't know, you moved into their parking spot where, or, or, or cut them off in traffic yeah. or you did something kind of shitty to somebody else. Do you, do you have that feeling within you? You're like, God's watching me. God's displeased with how yeah. that happened. Yeah. 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 A hundred percent. I don't. What? I feel shitty based off of the consequences that I can that can think of. Like if I cut someone off, I'm like, all right, they're gonna be pissed for a second, and they're gonna live. But if I run over some dude, I just ruined a whole family. Yeah, yeah I just ruined yeah. someone's life. Yeah. That's that's what's gonna lie. It's the con the actual consequences that come out of. What it. was the series event that a guy cuts off, and that was his last straw, and he's about to shoot up everyone at his it, office? I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly, do you feel like you take responsibility? It's a snowball effect. I don't know if it's. I don't it's know. A it's a good, so that's much. a good. That's a good one. I didn't think of that. Yeah, uh, what, what's like that movie? That movie with um, Russell Crowe, where this lady cuts him off in traffic, and oh, he yeah, 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 follows yeah, her one. and just ruins unhinged. her fucking unhinged. Yeah. Unhinged Russell Crowe. That, oh, that sounds like a good movie. It's like intense. Movie. Let me I tell bet, you, it'll I make you bet, never dude. cut off somebody in your rest but, of your but, life. But what I love is that Andy asks you, like, do you feel guilty at all? And then you both answer simultaneously. And then Harris is like, yes, 100%. You're like, no, not at all. He's like, what? My thoughts up has been destroyed. So you don't feel religious guilt, Amir? Oh. No. No? I okay. think I, I was trained to, but I, I think I'm I'm not I don't think I'm feeling it much. So you're not yeah, scared yeah, yeah. of the big man in the sky with the beard? Sky Daddy. <laughs> no. And I think I there could be a, a day that well, I would regret that, but I think yeah. I just can't uh I see I'm trying to live my life um in a way that it'll help me feel better, like emotionally. Yeah. So yeah. why why would that like you know, it's a Make selfish way of guilty. living, yeah. but it's like I want to I want to have a belief system and a guidance of life that makes me and people around me feel good, whatever that's going to be. And and yeah. having a guilt, I already have a Persian mom that's like giving me like 100 percent of guilt that I'm receiving. So, like, why do I need any other guilt source of guilt in my life? That's yeah. fair. Yeah. This is why, uh, you know, like I uh, I actually love going sometimes, you know, like to a church. And just like sit in the back, you know, and I'll go to the Catholic church just because it's, you know, easy and quiet and just sit in the back and like look at people like I, I feel a lot of like good out of seeing how people will drag themselves out in the morning to this nice. and seeing them like worship. I only stay for like 10, 15 Did you celebrate minutes, Ash Wednesday? And I dip, no, I, I don't celebrate it. I dip out, you know, like, but um, yeah, I, um, you know, if worst case scenario, like this is why I say uh, uh, Catholicism is the best religion. Because there's nothing like you can always be the worst Catholic, say whatever. I'm an atheist. You can say fuck God, whatever. And then if you're sorry enough at the end, which if you're very scared right before you die, you're gonna regret it. You say I'm sorry, and you're clean. Like if you yeah. really mean it and you apologize, you're clean. So that's why all else. the that's why all the biggest mobsters are Catholic, exactly, like the Irish exactly. and the Italians. You, you, you know? That makes sense. I never thought of it. Does like Judaism have like a little caveat thing? Like right before you die, that's you just so be weird. like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I was a bad Jew." <laughs> <laughs> like what? Trying to think. Go? I'm trying to think about that. Was about my that. Jewish? Story. I don't know. Is there I don't confession? Know. There's no. I don't confession. know. There's no confession. I don't know about like there's. But, but you, if death. you're Jewish, though, there's nothing that you have to do before you. Well, die. well, you can't you kill anyone on Shabbos. You can still probably get away with that. But there's no hell in Judaism, right? No, just no, 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 no. Just the bank, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was fucking stupid. Um, well, anyway. But, but there's no, pur there's just purgatory. So yeah. you don't actually, like, if you're just Jewish and you're born Jewish, yeah. then you just got, like, the green card to get into. Essentially, heaven. essentially, but God moves through you whenever, and God, and you can also, exp there's also demons as well. God moves through you? Yeah. Okay. Essentially so. Like, if you. I don't know, like like bird of church, but you can also it's like a it's like being your tool of God essentially. So is it is it merit based then? Like if you're not a good person, you're not gonna get to go hang out in purgatory before you go to heaven. No, you, you're still churches? everyone still goes to the same place. You know well, what the heck? Where's the incentive then to be a good Jew? There's there's the incentive is that like your mom to get off your fucking case. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, it's a, it, 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 it's car it's karmic. So essentially, like whatever happens to you, like God's punishing you. 
for it. So in it's big purgatory? being a monitor. No, in in your cur- in your in current your lifetime, life. in your current lifetime. Yeah, that's so funny that you guys have a very contrasting perspective. So life. so yeah. yours is you know, yours like, is afterlife. I'm thinking you're like, like this is on me. And he's like, God is. Yeah, like if I do something you know? bad, like now I'm gonna pay for it, like five minutes later. Like that's how Judaism oh, is. That's that's where the Jewish instant. guilt comes from. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah it's super instant. So Your hell you, is on this earth. You know <laughs> then if you're a bad Jew because like. Or all your Jewish friends know that you're a bad Jew because they'll be like, oh, he doesn't have a very nice car. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, essentially, right? essentially, yeah, <laughs> essentially. That's why I feel like I go to these places. I'm like, oh, they, they probably think that I steal. That's why I don't go and, <laughs> you know, wear nice clothes and, you know, I don't have or that's to. probably why I had this nice watch. They think I stole it or something, you know. <laughs> Whatever, you're just young. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you're it's, a it's, young it's, Jew. it's an it's a, it's definitely like an inferiority complex. That's Fair. the best way to describe Interesting. it. Interesting. Yeah. Do you guys have like the the like, like right before you die something that you need to do? Yeah. Muslims. Um, I don't you're know. A bad Muslim though. They can't see the body. Sorry, that's another thing. Is right when you die, they can't see it, or like you're being impure, or like you know. If they can't, they can't see they, the dead body. We, yeah, you can't see the person in the dead state. Only like a mortician or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's no like a, it's bad for the people. Yeah, it's closed casket. No one's supposed to see you. Okay, Amir, yeah. what, what do you Sorry. got? Well, in, in I think in Islam is the same thing. You can't really see a dead person, but um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I have uh, like I don't really have solid like an idea of what I want to happen to my body when I die. I think okay. I need to figure that out. I should probably do it sooner. I want to be eaten by dogs, you know, you just like at the end. I'm uh, just I've already, I'm just I've already hired the wild pack. <laughs> I just can't. They're just going to tear them to pieces. The rabbits. <laughs> the yeah. rabbits. There you go. Yeah. With your, are are rabbits how long? Like Sorry, you're not. You're <laughs> right behind. I the rabbits, uh, I think they are. I thought okay. they are. They're not. Yeah. They, they're, they're not kosher because they throw and throw up. Right? They, they don't their own eat their own poop. poop. They eat their own, uh, yeah. they eat their own poop. They do Is eat their kosher? own poop. Okay, then, no, then they no, won't no, be no, no, they no, won't no. be halal there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that's not halal. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys are well, coming well, over they, for rabbit dinner. They only eat their then. own first poop, which is kind of like technically not not poop. It's like cicatropes. It's like they need to digest it twice to get all the nutrients out of it. Yeah. 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 They way. don't need the second one, the final dump. You know. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what freaks me out more than like any organized religion, like Jehovah's Witnesses. I think they're pretty weird because they don't they celebrate any annoying. holidays. Yeah. They don't celebrate ha- Scientology. Yeah, yeah I don't think why. Why are they? Because they knock on doors. Scientology does. They don't. They don't go door to door. Same with like Mormonism. It's like you got to really believe in what you're doing. But they like let you out like starting at age like six. Yeah. And they're like knocking on doors. They believe you won't be kidnapped. You're like if you just preach the good word, God will protect you. I think yeah. it's probably changed. It's your magic now. underwear that yeah. protects you from and, the and, pedophiles. Yeah. And let me. I just you just reminded me of something that uh, to answer your earlier question that you had on me, right? Uh, in this, in, like you asked, well, what what makes you want to do good or whatever, right? <laughs> like the, my version of God is separated, and I'm kind of like the, the most aligned would be absurdism. You know, it it like it's like that's like the philosophy that probably most closely I would ascribe to. And it basically means it, it basically states that literally nothing matters and there is no meaning to it. Right? Like mm. uh the but there's a caveat in there, no objective meaning to to life. With the caveat being then, well, but humans have the ability to generate their own meaning you know like to life and the meaning can be different for you can be different for you can be mm-hmm. different for any can be different for me and so the real before any other philosophical question right is there a god what is reality right the real question us as living humans would be like well do i kill myself or have a cup of coffee right because it's like if 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 meaning like or do you have a family are you doing it right like that's a whole you know, other thing for any meaning a lot of people get meaning from religion and he mentions and, and he ascribes that well if you have to at first decide, well, what are you doing things for in meeting? And we'll wrap this up. Uh, uh, Harrison says you got to run. I got to use the bathroom anyway. Okay. So this is perfect. Uh, but um, that, um, well, if you have no meeting or nothing to get up for, well, why don't you kill yourself? You're just one bad day away from hmm. fucking shooting yourself. Well, it could and, be a good day as well. So you don't know. It there could, could be, be. But why would you kill yourself if you had a good yeah, day? Yeah, but if nothing has any meaning, right? And oh, I think it has meaning to somebody. That's That religion can sometimes that's be, you know, uh, intellectual suicide because you stopped uh, asking the that. question of why or what's the meaning in my life. You, you ascribe, you just picked a book out of the thing instead of asking the question further. Yeah. You know? 
Um, I still think that's better than than having no meaning and killing yourself because then who knows maybe along the way right like kind of like you know, you know like maybe you grab some things from what you learn from that religion and you grab the meaning out of them and you apply them to your life and some of the other stuff doesn't right and now you've created your own meaning to your life which is what it's all about because it's really creating the meaning because what if, if there's no meaning to objective meaning to life what am I going to do die it's almost like rebelling a rebellion yeah. against the meaninglessness of it by creating some. I have a question for you that I've been thinking about and I don't want to forget to ask. Are you going to teach your daughter religion? And no. If so, no, none? No. no. Well, I'm going to teach Why? her about religion. I'm not going to teach her how to practice religion. Okay. Mm. Why? Because okay. um, I think she can make her own decision. And when she yeah. gets to a certain age, she can. Sure. So you I'm, would. You I'm would not going to indoctrinate her. You will lay out the idea and the different types of religion and talk with her about it freely and openly. Yeah, that would be an ideal thing to do, I think. Okay. Yeah, I hear that. I um, yeah. So when it comes to religion, and obviously this is not specifically, it often goes hand in hand with God, but religion, I think it can be a very effective tool. I would compare the Bible kind of, in my opinion, to kind of like Aesop's fables, where it's like, okay, you can learn a lot of really good lessons from the Bible. It has mm -hmm. a lot of really nice stories. I'm talking about, obviously, the, the Christian Bible, because that's what I can, you know, speak to. But it has a lot of good stories in it where they're applicable to your life, mm -hmm. you know? And so if that's the case, you know, I don't really specifically have a problem with religion in the sense that using it to as a tool to motivate your children. But there's a lot of children's books that teach great lessons too. Exactly, like so Aesop's, I don't, Aesop's Fables, right? Yeah. You know? Cool. Well, we'll have to pick this back up and another thing. I think we can distill a lot more. And to your point, I agree with you. They say that the best, some of the best books become religious books and that's why they're perpetuated through, yeah. through, through uh, time. Um, but we'll have to do a What is God Part 2. Absolutely. Man. Um, Most definitely. <laughs> and uh, thank Have you. Have a good show, dude. You and on. Yeah. Where's the show at? The show is at uh, Gatsby. <laughs> Sit down and sign <laughs> off, at least. Yeah. yeah. Say goodbye. The show. The friend. show is at Gatsby's Bar and Lounge uh, oh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Sounds like a speakeasy. Uh, it's it's very like. It's a place. It's a, pla it's it's a place. It's a place, but it's nice. Happens. It's a very nice establishment. Fuck uh, yeah, you're going to kill it, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for being on Jew and on Amir. And thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us for what you've got coming up. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, I, will be, I will be uh, performing. In March. In March the 8th, I will be performing in Wilmington, North Carolina on a rooftop bar. Um nice. <laughs> I will if you want to know the dates and locations they will be on my Instagram at the Harrison Friedman okay. and uh, yeah awesome that'll well, be on thank you where can people find you oh where, you where can people find me no no not you, oh. you, not just you. Said, you're oh, done sorry. I'm done alright peace thank you guys <laughs> take care man Adios. thanks for having me bye Very safely <laughs> Amir oh, where can uh, we find you Instagram Amir comedy with a K I have a soapbox I don't know when this episode's coming out but uh, probably like three weeks Oh, uh, yeah, it'll be too late. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what? Next People one. Check. watch it afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they you need know, to I, know you got stuff going I'll on. I'll have multiple soapbox shows, but uh, yeah, if you live in the the Raleigh area or North Carolina or Raleigh Triangle area, come to uh, Boxyard RTP and uh, check them out. Check their website out. Okay. You'll see my shows there. Okay. Well, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. I think we definitely figured out what God is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>